What's going on guys? We're back here on Pokemon Showdown with Climb to ULT Playoffs number 2. And the winners for week 2 ULT, um, the laddering portion was just announced, uh, I think earlier today. And that was ULT 2, 2 Mew, and then ULT Toenail. So congratulations to them. And so, so the next people that are looking to be in the lead for the next week is ULT Lapras, which <laughs> we battled his other alt yesterday we didn't do that well against him. <laughs> it was an interesting battle but uh yeah if you want to watch that that is yep this is other, his other account right here and then ult hog is the next one so we got to make at least number 13 if we want to win ult week three which means uh i think around 1650 should be a good bet and it's it's really late right now guys uh and i apologize that i didn't have an upload for you guys yesterday because by the time I upload this, it'll be like the day after. So we're just gonna be, uh, yeah, things just got really busy for me, so. Uh, we're gonna use the same team that we used last time with a few changes. First of all, I put Super Power on freaking Hydreigon with, uh, this spread allows me to, uh, KO Chansey after Rocks and a Draco Meteor, I believe. And then, uh, what else did I change? I don't think I changed much else. Uh, these BDBs were kind of useless, so I put them in special defense. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That was just Super Power and Hydreigon. That was the major change that I wanted to make. See, if I had Super Power in the previous match, I could have just killed the Chansey, and he wouldn't have had any switch-ins for, like, my Nidoqueen, my Pidgeot, uh, or at least he'd be hard-pressed to switch into them, and then Hydreigon would just have no switch-ins. I would just be passing wishes to it and it'd be wrecking havoc on Blue Lapras' team. So I definitely changed that because I have a feeling we're gonna be as we're climbing as we're climbing on up the ladder, we're probably gonna face um Lapras' ULT account sooner or later, and I really wanna win against that. Again, it's really late, so I'm probably only gonna get a couple battles. If I can get to like 1550 um in this session, that'd be pretty chill. Because it is late, and we're probably going to get a couple low ladder opponents. Uh, at least one. Yeah, it's having a hard time <laughs> hard time searching. Yeah, right now we're at 1528. Um, so I think by the time the third session... Yeah, by the third session, being at 1600 would be uh, pretty ideal. And I need like 1650 in order to make the next... Yeah, make week 3 playoffs, and even if I don't make it, that's not a problem, I can just make week 4. Um, yeah, because after them, let's see who else, okay, so after Hog, oh, we got a, we got a battle against, oh god. Um, this guy's probably not too, yeah, see, I don't, I don't like playing late at night, the reason for that being is that, um, like, if I lose to this guy, it's probably going to cost me a ton of points, and also, I tend to not play as well at night, I'm just kind of tired. And stuff. So here, um, I just I kind of want to sleep. I kind of just want to lead with a uh, Needle Queen and get up my rocks. Because uh, this is his defogger, and you can't defog on this. I could also lead Pidgeot, but that's just a free switch for Empoleon. Another thing is that I don't want to give his. Yeah, the thing is, like, I don't want to give um, this thing free rocks. So I'm just gonna. You know what? Hydreigon's a pretty safe lead. As he leads with the worst amount, the worst <laughs> possible lead, which is Glalie. Luckily, I do have the counter, and that is um the blade. I don't know if um oh it's a spikes lead. That's really interesting. But he's not gonna mega evolve for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I could have Okoto with Draco, but I don't know. I just I just wasn't really comfortable. I'm gonna go for Sacred Sword if he wants to go into his. Oh, that did a lot. That did a decent amount. I do have my Pidgeot. Uh, so I can just defog away these rocks whenever. Yeah, I was gonna say, if he wants to go into his Rotom Heat, or more importantly, his Empoleon, he's gonna be catching the Sacred Sword real quick. Uh, I don't have any reason not to go for it again, as this is like his suicide lead, I guess. Um, I don't mind these spikes being up, because I can just defog them with Pidgeot. Uh, he's gonna go into Meowstic, very interesting. I'm just gonna Swords Dance on him. No reason not to do so. And... He might go into... Rotom Heat now. I'm just gonna go for Shadow Sneak. This really, I don't lose much by it, as that does a ton of damage. I could SD up again, but then again, I don't have any reason not to go for a, another Light Screen. Uh, so, ooh, he's gonna get up. So this is a Mega Swampert then. 
really interesting. Again, I'm not too bothered by it, just because I am an Eviolite, the Blade, and I can just start getting damage on this. As he goes for Earthquake, that is a respectable amount, as I can just go for the uh, Sacred Sword. This is probably like a... Okay, that didn't do anything. So he's behind the screens. That's not necessarily the best thing for me. See, this is where the spikes is going to be kind of annoying because Vaporeon potentially walls this, but ah, I could have Ice Punch for Hydreigon or like Super Power. So that's definitely not good. So I'm just going to go into my Vaporeon. I'm going to go for the Protect. I'm basically just wanting to stall out the uh, Rain Turns. He doesn't have much for this, honestly. Like, I guess he has the Gorgeist. I'm just going to go for another Wish. Uh, as Earthquake's going to do a ton to me because this is a Mega Swamp Bird, but... Yeah, that does a ton of damage. So I'm gonna go for the uh, Protect here. I don't care if he switches into Gorgeist, I'm just wasting... Hey, I pretty much have this in the bag because he no longer has any switch-ins to Hydreigon. And it outspeeds this entire team. So he goes in the Road of Heat. Um, I don't know if that was the best play for him because I can just go for another Wish. Or I can just go into Hydreigon to be honest. Because I need this thing to wall his uh, Swampert. Scald is relatively free here as well, but he's yeah, he's just gonna go for a Volt Switch. I have no reason. Oh, he has Trick. Oh, that's really cool. I'm just gonna go into. He's probably gonna go for like the Volt Switch. You know what? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna go into my Nido Queen. No fear. Uh, as he goes for the Thunderbolt, that's... As now I can just... I am free to just go for a Sludge Wave. If I'm real, I can just go for Earth Power, expecting uh, his Empoleon or his... His Swampert. Yeah, I don't need to make that play. Absolutely. Oh, he, he switches into Gorgeist. That's not a good play. Because now I can get rid of this thing. I could go for Roxia just to prevent his Rotom from just switching him for free. Actually, nothing on his team switches in for free. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll just go for Ice Beam. Nothing is gone. So now, um, yeah, now uh, Vaporeon beats his team. Although his uh, Rotom does have... Yeah, it has a uh, Thunderbolt, so that's problematic. If it had Volt Switch, that would have been a lot better for me. So I'm just going to go to Pidgeot. Uh, I don't care if he goes for Waterfall. I just need to get these... Uh... I'm timid, so I'm definitely faster than him. Just get these spikes on out of here. I don't care if he goes into a of Heat, expecting my Hurricane. I could easily go for Hurricane here, but I'm going to go for Defog. Because now he doesn't have any switch-ins to this, because I have Super Power for Empoleon, and that's probably a Snack Wrap, to be honest. I'm going to go for Draco, not risking Dark Pulse, um, not killing this. Because Swampert's hella bulky, especially in its Mega Form, and I'm not a Mild Nature or a Modest Nature, so... I'm really not too confident about Dark Pulse killing it, even though I am Life Orb. So, okay, Swampert's gone, so uh, Heracross wins the game now, basically, because he uh, tricked his Scarf away. So he goes into Empoleon, free switch into Heracross, especially if he goes for Scald. As he goes for the Toxic, that's going to be game. He can't switch into this, like it's over. For why? Why do you have Protect? I hate when they just have random Protect users like that, like why do you do this? Um... Actually, Rotom Heat's fat. Oh, never mind. He just switches it in, and that just dies. <laughs> so now it's definitely game. I can just say, even if he gets like something crazy, like a triple protect, uh, Empoleon cannot beat Vaporeon, and Nero Queen can also probably KO with um, Earth Power. Or actually, I don't know. If it's specially defensive, that could be pretty annoying. So. That's going to be the first game. This guy probably wasn't... He's using a Gorgeist and a Glalie that never Mega Evolved, so I'm not confident about his ranking. Oh my god, he gets a double... If he gets a triple protect, like... Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> okay, no, so that's going to be it. Yeah, that guy was 1295, so yeah, I barely gained any ELO from that. I'm like from 1528 to 1536. So that's why I don't like playing at night, because... Like, I, I gain nothing from it, because I play bad at night, and I play against bad opponents, so if I lose, I lose big time, and if I win, like, I barely gain anything from it. So, I'm just gonna, just gonna end this after this battle. 
I just want to get something recorded today because I was busy the entire day. So I figured I could le at least have this uploaded by tomorrow morning. Also, while we're um, waiting for our battle, so I just realized that I have 98 subscribers. That's that's pretty crazy. I never thought I could get to that really quickly because it's barely even been... I don't think it's even been a month since I've been uh, uploading quote-unquote seriously. So well, once we hit 100 subscribers, that's going to be great because I really do want to tell you all my story and how I started with uh, competitive Pokemon and how I started on YouTube. So that's going to be uh, pretty fun. I might even do face cam if I'm with that video if I feel up to it. Alright, so we got a battle here against a pretty competent looking team. Uh, looks like he has Fighting Spam. So... The Pidgeot's really gonna come through here, although Hyperior is a threat to be wary of. Although, I guess I can just lead off with Nidoqueen. I don't think it'll KO Rhyperior because it does have the Solid Rock. But at least be able to get off an Earth... You know what? I'm just gonna go straight for the Earth Power. As that does quite a bit of damage. As he goes for Earthquake and not... Oh, that's devastating. That sucks, because now I don't get my rocks up. Damn it. That really blows. That that blows donkey dick. <laughs> but you know what? If I'm not getting on my rocks, he isn't either. The thing is, if, like, if I send in Heracross, it's a 50-50, because he can just send in Crobat. And... I don't have much for that. Like, I guess I have the Blade. That's pretty much a free switching, but he has Suicune. Honestly though, like as soon as I get rid of Suicune, there's not much he has on the blade. So I'm just going into... If I'm real, like... Yeah, he wants to preserve this, because he can set up rocks on Pidgeot. If he manages to safely switch in on it. Am I real enough though? No, I'm just going for close combat. There's no reason for me to predict here, like... Yeah, okay, he stayed in, so now he doesn't get rocks either. And if he switches in his Crobat, I got... The blade walls a lot of his team. Uh, even if I don't even care if Machamp goes for the, uh, yeah, if Machamp goes for the knockoff. If let's see if he has U-turn. Okay, so he has acrobatics. That's pretty fantastic. So now I can pull the double switch. Uh, I don't know. I could if he has U-turn. That could be problematic because now I can't pull the. Okay, wait, no, he's acrobatic. So this is like a defensive set. I don't think those run U-turn. So what I could do is just pull the double into Pidgeot here. Yeah, I think that's pretty safe. Because I'm expecting Suicune to come in here. So that's a free Mega. As he goes into Machamp, even better for me. Because now I just get a free Hurricane on everything. And Hurricane actually just devastates his team. Not even, not even going to lie. As he chooses to stay in. And Hurricane actually is not going to get the KO as he goes for the Thunder Punch. Uh, really interesting. I'm gonna go for the Roost, maybe expecting Bullet Punch. Yeah, this is, pretty, this is a pretty valuable team member. I don't think Bullet Punch KOs me from this range. And I'll be neutral to, um... I'll be neutral to Thunder Punch, as I do get the, uh, Roost off. As now I can just get a free switch into my Blade. Yeah, I just get a free switch back into the Blade. And if he wants to go for the Machamp, I just go for Iron Heads. And also, like, I can switch in Suicune freely with Heracross, and, um... I can always go for Stone Edge, predicting Crobat. Okay, so so far I've got some... I got a, some good momentum. Like, he doesn't have a switch into Pidgeot, he doesn't have a switch in... Wait, why'd you switch this in? <laughs> oh, it's Burnt. Um, even if it's Burnt, Knockoff does not kill me. Surprisingly enough. Oh, it's Earthquake. <laughs> so now that thing is gone too. He doesn't have a switch into Hydreigon. He doesn't have a switch into... Okay, he, now he's at this. Um, this is kind of a threat. He's gonna go for the knockoff. Do I really need Vaporeon? I, I guess I need Vaporeon to wall Suicune if, if something goes wrong. I don't know if I kill with Shadow Sneak. Do I really risk it? Because this is my switch into his Crobat. Then again, his Crobat's probably not running any attack EV, so Vaporeon walls that pretty hard. And I have Ice Beam for Sceptile, which is the best part. So I think I'm just going to go for the uh, Shadow Sneak. As that doesn't get the kill, so he's going to go for Knock Off, Knock Me Out. And... Do I go into Hydreigon here? 
Oh man, I really wish Pidgeot... The Sceptile is becoming a threat, actually. I really can't let it switch in safely. Or I need to keep Heracross really healthy, because Heracross is the only thing that can take a hit and knock it out of close combat, so... Yep, I can't let this thing, um... I cannot let this thing Mega Evolve for free. Because the thing is, um, Timid Pidgeot will outspeed regular Sceptile. So if he wants to switch in Crobat here, I think it's kind of a so be it kind of situation. I, I could just switch in... I, I'm gonna switch in Vaporeon and go for Ice Beams. Hoping to catch Sceptile. Yeah, I really want to catch the Sceptile on the switch here. And even if he stays in here and goes for like Toxic or something, he goes for Cross Poison. Don't poison me. Oh, as I freeze him, that's devastating. Absolutely devastating because now I can just switch in Pidgeot and start spamming Hurricane. Not let this thing Mega Evolve. That was... I was probably going to win anyway at that point, but he still had a chance with Sceptile and now it's ruined because... I'm gonna get my Pidgeot here safely, unless he manages to thaw out in the next two, two turns, which is not in his favor. So yeah, I'm gonna get Pidgeot in safely. This doesn't outspeed because I'm two, 375, he's 372. As he chooses to stay in, he has Protect. Wow. Really, really interesting. Will I live a hit though? He has Hidden Power, doesn't knock me out. What kind of Hidden Power was that? I don't even know if people ran Hidden Power on Sceptile. I guess maybe like Hidden Power... Yeah, if anything you run Hidden Power Fire. That was not Hidden Power Fire. So, I'm just gonna get this Hurricane off. So that's pretty much gonna be game because uh, Vaporeon Wall Suicune. Pretty hard. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the uh, Hurricane. I, I lose nothing from it. Uh, so he's gonna hit himself in Confusion. Pretty unfortunate for him. I could go for Roost here, but eh. I don't have much. Okay, if he hits himself again, that's gonna be game. I want to say GG, but there was like really the hacks just sped up the process. As this guy was 1300, so I moved up to 1545, and yeah, it's pretty decent. I'm gonna stop there just because it's pretty clear I'm not gonna get any high-ranking opponents. Uh, it's past midnight, well past midnight. So I hope y'all enjoyed, and if you did, go ahead and. Click that like button, subscribe, and look forward to uh, Pokemon Insurgents, team rating, and more ULT to the top.